Good morning guys, oh, welcome back to my channel. Clearly we're running late. I'm using this day. Cactus fruit, three-in-one styling cream to hopefully make my hair stay back the whole time. I've got to wash my hair today, but we're going on a date tonight for our anniversary finally. At least Saturday, but it's just like the day that worked the best if it didn't work for our schedule to celebrate on our actual anniversary. Needed to wash my hair probably like four days ago, but tried to ride it out until today. I do a little slick back bun, but we have an 8.45 workout class this morning that he's yelling at me that I need to get ready for. Hair is slicked back. I think it's looking fine. I'm just gonna take my bed head stick the deal on the front pieces. Um, lotion on my legs and then we're out of here. Love Don't say darling cause you'll fake it Don't hide the tears cause I know you're brave Another tear just burst from the side of your eye And I know what you're saying And I know it's a fucking lie All this world Damn lie All this pain and then when we got home he mowed the lawn and did like weed eater and all that stuff and I just played with Sutton and now we are headed into our afternoon but I wanted to thank the sponsor of today's video which is Seed. This is Seed's DSO-1 Daily Symbiotic. So a symbiotic is a prebiotic and a probiotic together in one. You guys saw me take my seed this morning. I take it literally every single day. I take it with me when I travel and it's really convenient because they also give you a travel container so you can just take it with you. I took it with us to Charlotte for the wedding, the beach, literally every trip that we've been on, I've taken my seed with me. And I've been taking seed for about, I feel like a little over a half of a year now. And I have noticed a huge difference in my gut health. And I highly recommend, I'm so excited to be working with them because I get to share with you guys something that I have already been taking for months and months and months. And I recommend this to all my friends if they're asking me about my like health routine or things that I've been doing. You know, I've been showing you in the vlogs, I've been taking my seed. And it has just become such an integral part of my morning routine. And working with them is so exciting for me. So if you guys are new to seed, seeds at DSO1 Daily Symbiotic is 
is a 24 strain broad spectrum probiotic and prebiotic formulated for digestive gut immune and additional systemic benefits each plus spot seed is it's delivered sustainably each month so each component of the refill system is designed to protect your dso1 daily symbiotic and be gentler on the earth so you just get this little packet and then you can easily refill every month so you don't have to get a full new container I take seed every morning on an empty stomach about 30 minutes before I eat. And my order is take seed, wait 30 minutes, eat, and then drink caffeine. That routine has just really been working for me and I like how you can just take it right away in the morning. So I'll usually go work out because I like to work out fasted. And then it's the first thing I do when I come home. So today when we went to Smoothie King, I didn't even drink my smoothie until after we got home. I'm so particular about the order and taking it on an empty stomach to make sure it fully works. And I'm getting all the benefits. Seed promotes healthy gut health and also skin health and heart health and it also really helps with regularity and also all that really correlates for my mental health for me so I'm not even kidding when I say I recommend seed so much and I started taking this and found out about seed through Julia and Hunter Havens but also when I was still breastfeeding and I really wish I started taking this when I was pregnant but now I know I'm never gonna stop taking this I'm not even kidding and it's a two-in-one via cap delivery technology so it's a capsule inside of a capsule which protects against stomach acid digestive enzyme bile salts for viability through digestion so that way the live probiotics will actually make it to the end of the small intestine and then deliver into your colon so not only will you get so many benefits within taking seed there's so much research that the seed team has done and put forth into creating this product that just by looking up and doing my own research alone months ago um, and deciding to take this product and the results that I've seen have really shown that they take research in the product that they formulated really seriously and I cannot recommend enough and also you guys can get 20% off your first month's order of seeds DSO1 daily symbiotic by using my code Bianca at checkout 20% off your first month supply of seeds DSO1 daily symbiotic code Bianca at checkout I will have it linked in the description box below it is so easy to incorporate into your morning routine and I'm so excited to be working with seed and everything you guys will need to know is in the description box below or you can't even really see them welcome to our garage it's a shit show hot mess in here my mom and I've been staining the table we're trying to save it so he doesn't have to make a new one we went now we're going dark a gel stain though so you paint it on and then you use a cotton t-shirt or sock or whatever and you and then you take some of it off so okay well those are the legs and then our garage is like seriously so gross so like Colin's got sawdust all over this thing here's Colin's like work area here's what the top of the table looks like now after staining it. I think the right side's darker than the left, Mom. Yeah, that looks more even. It's done one coat. Yeah. You know? Wow. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to work. I think it needs another really pass over like little streaks where there's we that much. Good morning, you guys. I was wrong. Our date night's tonight. So last night we stayed in the table for so long. I'm so excited to go see what it looks like. And then we had Chipotle for dinner. We pretty much stayed in the table all afternoon yesterday. Um, and then had Chipotle for dinner. I'm watching the movie Dungeons and Dragons. It was okay. But this morning is thunderstorming. It's currently nine. Colin went north out at nine and we have just been hanging. I'm about to do breakfast, trying to decide what to do. Um, yeah, it's definitely about to thunderstorm. Crazy. What do you want? What do you want for breakfast? Do you want some waffles? More. More. Waffles.
up solid core and now I'm running into Target and I think I'm gonna get a smoothie because I do not feel good and I'm um, like I feel nauseous so I think I'm gonna get a smoothie after this and I haven't had a smoothie in forever but we need tissues and I need to get an anniversary card for Colin The smoothie place was closed, so instead I got sweet green, which was fine with me. I always get a harvest bowl um, with dressing on the side. And so I was gonna see if I could wait until I get home to eat this, but honestly, I just don't feel good. So I think I'm gonna eat it right now. I finished my book, You Shouldn't Have Come Here, my audiobook, and it was like the perfect thriller to get me back into reading and now I'm inspired. Oh, I already started listening to a new one, except I always like, whenever I'm reading, I go romance, thriller, romance, thriller. Like I just bop, bop back and forth. So now I'm reading Happy Place by Emily Henry. And I read Beach Read by her. And I love that book. And it was so good. So um, I've heard so many good things about Happy Place on Book Talk. Here's my um, Harvest Bowl, it's amazing. I'm gonna start driving and listen to my book. It was just such a good combo. Home, and the pool guy was just here, adding more chlorine. Uh-oh. And like, just looking at it and doing a backwash on it. Here's the update, it's turning more blue by the minute. Also, coming down to the garage because we put on another coat of the top coat, so I'm just gonna show you guys. Gonna rebuild another table. We're just doing a dark brown table, but I think it'll look really good because we don't have anything like this. And I think it'll be a good little change from all of our light wood things. And then those are all of our dining chairs in those boxes. Um, here are the legs. So here you can see better in the sunlight. This is like actually what the shade of brown looks like. So just to give you like a better idea, I really like how this leg turned out. We have an early dinner reservation just so we can like be here to put something to bed because that'd be like a lot of work for my mom and to like feed her and stuff and give her a bath. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready for that so I'm not rushed. Forgot to show you guys when I was at Target. I also just got ready. Um, I got I had a travel size of this and I really like it. It's the KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub from First Aid Beauty, and you just like use it on the bumps and stuff that you get on the back of your arm. And I love this stuff, so I ended up getting a full size version. And then I got in my monthly like order from Revolve, so I'm gonna open it with you guys, go through it, and then I might wear something from there. Okay, I just opened everything and took it out of the packaging so I can show you easier. Um, but I got two tops that I feel like could be um, contenders to wear tonight, so I'm so glad that my order came now. Um, so I can test it out. Wait, what in the world is going on? Okay, so here's the first top. This is from Tularosa, which is one of my favorite brands on Revolve. This is on my Revolve favorites too, but I can link it for you guys. It's this cute little crop top. I'm definitely going to try it on and see. Wearing it with these jeans I got from Girlfriend Denim. I have a pair of white jeans, but they're so big on me now um, because I got them like when I was in postpartum era, like early postpartum era, so they're quite large. They have like a little fringe on the bottom, so I thought that that'd be really cute. So maybe wear those tonight with either that top or I got this top, which is like a little white crop. So I thought that could be cute. And then I also picked up a one-piece bathing suit because I don't have any one-pieces that I really love right now. Um, this is Tularosa 2. That other white crop top I think is LPA. No, it's super down. Um, and then like it just has like little cups cut out in the back, gold detail, and little um, bows on the sleeves. So I'm gonna try this stuff on and see if it's maybe something I wanna wear tonight. Okay, I landed on this outfit. Girlfriend denim, Dulce Vita heels, and then just did some, some more glam looking makeup. Um, bigger gold earrings. Oh, also I've been wearing this ring from Orate as like my wedding band just to switch it up, make it look more gold, and I really like it. So anyways, full, uh oh, what'd she do? Full fit, cute. I'm gonna wear a jean jacket too. I'm trying to turn Colin into a Swifty. So far I have him on It's Different, and you're not sorry. We're back 
back home and we brought Sutton our leftovers for her dinner. Um, so my mom's just feeding her really quick. Um, I'm about to go change into comfy clothes, but here is my jean jacket on top of my outfit. I thought that this was really cute too. So I wanted to show you guys really quick, but I love this top. I'm gonna have it linked because it's so cute. I feel like it's perfect for like a summer date night. And then these jeans, they're a little big, but I got them in a bigger size, so they weren't like super, actually they're bigger on the waist, but tighter in the thighs. And then I feel like they're a good length too, especially if you're wearing like heels. I think they're a cute little length. So anyways, this was my date night outfit. I really liked it. So anyways, okay, I'm gonna go put on sweatpants now. Um, we went to Max Chop House in Marietta Square because we're trying out all the restaurants in Marietta Square or we're trying to and it, that one's like really fancy and also expensive just letting you know but it was so good so a good like date night spot for sure it's like seafood steakhouse um but it was really good I got a filet we got salad soup charcuterie board shrimp and um I got a filet Colin got a ribeye then we got lobster mac and cheese mashed potatoes and sauteed spinach and it was so good. My comfy clothes. Sweatpants, sports bra. I got this sports bra from Set Active forever ago. It's a little booby, but you know, um, I feel like it's fine. Oh, Colin just puts it in the bed. I'm about to go do a quick 15 minute bedroom pickup and then living room pickup because it is a Sunday. I washed our sheets um, and like we have multiple sheet set, sheet sets. So I put on the new set of sheets. I just need to throw in the sheets that were on our bed into the washer. If you don't have multiple sets of sheets, you're missing out. I highly recommend. It's honestly game changing. Is that better? So I'm about to go. Our bedroom's a disaster right now and it's just like stuff everywhere. So I'm about to go pick that up for a little bit and then I think we're going to start um, Tom Holland's new show tonight. I pretty much cleaned all that I can until Colin just came up and said I'm ready to watch a movie so we got two loads of laundry right there plus that I can't wait to do that tomorrow Crowded room I think is pretty good it's on Apple TV so you should check it out if you guys need a new show to watch I'm about to take off my makeup and do my skincare I recently feel like I've like lost a ton of hair like the last time I washed my hair which was literally yesterday my hair was just like coming out and I think it's because when I wear my hair natural I like don't really brush it because it's like I don't know how to brush out the curls I think what I need to do is just brush it every day and then use a spray bottle and get it wet and like re-curl it up because I didn't brush my hair for like days and then when I went to shower literally so much hair came out and I was concerned so it might not look like I have thin hair but it feels like it Okay, I'm trying to get ready for bed. Me just, too. You just shot up in my space. Oh, what are you doing? You're in my area. I'm still full from dinner. Me too. It was so much food. It was so good though. Maybe that can be our anniversary dinner spot instead of Malton Pot. I feel like I'm, I told Colin I didn't want to go there anymore. But okay. Guys, I tried to put, play a prank on Colin at dinner and tell him I wanted a baby like soon. Like a new one, another one, but I couldn't even get it out without laughing because <laughs> it's just not true. Four years from now. Yeah. Did you know I was joking when I said it? No. Oh. Well. Well, when I first said it, I, I just played it off, but then I was going to keep it going and I just played it. You were dead ass. You thought I was trying to baby make? Seems Speaking of baby. Um, taking out. Now that we have the table stained, it'll be done this week. I'm positive. Colin reassured, confirmed all the things that it will be done this week. And so I'm excited because then we can finish up the dining room. I definitely want to do some like wall decor in the dining room because there's one wall that's open. Maybe get like a cool art piece of artwork or something. So I wanted to run things through some empties that I've hit and things like if I'll repurchase or not. So first of all, I'm almost out of my youth to the people. Um, green tea, spinach, vitamin paste face cleanser 
And instead of repurchasing that, I think I'm going to go back to Osea because I loved their face wash. And I had it before that twice, repurchased twice, then switched to that because I was just curious. Um, I think I saw like Matt Gravit or something using that, someone using that. And so I was like, okay, I'll give that a shot because, you know, I just love to try out products. I should have got that. I don't think they sell OC actually at Target, but they sell it at this little like facial place next to the solid car. Like heyday or something. I don't know. I just noticed it was like a facial spot literally today. And then I saw OC products on the wall. So I was like, oh, it's a facial spot. Made the connection. But now that I'm home and I'm like, crap, I'm out of my OC stuff. I should have just ran in there and got some face wash, but... It's okay. I'm sure I'll go to Solid Core this week. Actually, I know I'll go to Solid Core this week. And I'm going to repurchase that. And then next thing that, that I've hit empty on is this, this brand. And this is their Servitrol Lifting Serum. I have been loving this stuff and I ran out. Most out of my Dermalogica Skin Smoothing Cream. Been loving this face lotion. Will repurchase this as soon as I run out. I've got just a little bit left. I'm going to start taking off my makeup. Um, I'm not running out quite yet but if you need a um, cleansing balm like a makeup remover balm essentially the one from Elemis is unbeatable this one is so good and it just goes on your skin like butter and it really does a good job of removing all of your makeup which I barely wear that much makeup anymore but today we really put it on almost out of my refi brow school that is the best brow product ever and i will repurchase that you can it's probably hard to tell because you know lighting isn't amazing but pretty much all my makeup's off and then pump out some face wash And then last product I wanted to talk to you guys about because I literally just ran out of it. Need to repurchase this too. The Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. I love these and I'm so sad that I ran out. I'm going to have to just, I'm going to have to repurchase more. I should have repurchased all this stuff during the Sephora sale. I feel like I need to be better about like checking up on how much product I have left and then getting it during the sale so I can save money obviously because the skincare is not cheap but also I found that I, I like splurging more on skincare that's like good quality, minimal ingredients, not, you know, that has a good Yuka score versus, you know, paying less money for something that's more toxic. You know what I'm talking about, about the Yuka score, there's this app called Yuka, Y-U-K-A. Also, I've been using reusable um, cotton rounds instead of, these aren't cotton, but like would it be cotton rounds instead of um like just purchasing them and then i just wash them in the washer and i got this in my like earth day kit from amazon and it's actually just like way easier um but yeah yuka is an app where you can look up your products and it tells you all the good ingredients that are in it or all the bad ingredients and it rates it on a scale um like zero to 100 gives it a score and um, I literally look everything up on the Yuka app now. I just use them and I put them in this little baggie and then I wash them. So yeah, I just use that with my polish choice. I started using this Clarence Double Serum and it before bedtime. And I got this sent to me, so I was like, okay, I'll try this out. They sent me this and then they sent me eye serum. So trying out Clarence, haven't really used it before. So let me know what you guys think. Just kind of adding it into my nighttime routine. Um, because my daytime routine is solid. We can't, we can't really change her product as I can get out. Luckily with Dermalogica, I feel like a little goes a long way. And at last, I just take out my contacts, obviously, and then um, put my glasses on, brush my teeth, and then I've been in the habit of laying out my workout outfit. Um, I got off my 6.30 a.m. workout routine and tomorrow I'm going to attempt to get back onto it. I'm not going to send it to class just in case I don't make it. But yeah, I'm going to try and get back into that routine because um, my mom's about to head back to... My mom is about to head back to Charlotte 
so she can pack up her apartment because her lease is ending and then she's moving here and moving in with us for a little bit until she you know gets a better feel for the area plus we've just enjoyed having her here so it's easier when she's here so she's gonna live with us for a little bit especially with Colin traveling two to three times a month like that is just a lot she's moving here um, she's just putting her stuff from her apartment in storage in Charlotte for now and then whenever she finds a place here or if she decides she wants to go back to Charlotte which is why she's putting her stuff in storage and like living with us for a little bit it'll be in Charlotte so we can either go get it with her bring it here or she can just stay in Charlotte um, so that's the update on that also update her and the pilot are not really talking anymore they're just kind of like fizzled out you know not a big deal yeah, you know, like just in a transitional stage and helping me out and all that stuff. So, you know, sometimes people just don't have time to date. I certainly wouldn't have time to date if I was dating, but I'm very glad I'm not. <laughs> I think about it all the time. Like my friends who are single and like having to go on dates and stuff. And I'm like, oof. Like, man, I'm so glad I'm not doing that. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I just need a haircut. It's been a minute since I got my haircut, but I don't really... I don't really know. Maybe it's just all in my head and it's actually not that thin and all my hair is falling out and now I feel like I have no hair and it was freaking me out. Um, and then I googled it and it isn't because I was not brushing my hair. I haven't had that much hair come out of my head since like postpartum and I was like, whoa, what is going on? Like, what did I do? And I just, you know, didn't brush her for days and left her curly or had her in a bun or I don't know. I was like, it was just days without doing anything to my hair. And my hair said, whoa, not cool, absolutely not. So we've learned from it. We won't make the mistake. I'm still trying to learn my curly hair. I think in the next time I wash my hair, I'll do like a curly hair routine situation for you guys. So you can see like step by step exactly what I do. Work on the maintaining part and then I feel like I'll have my routine down pat and I'll be in a good place with my routine. But until then, we're going to keep working on it. But still sleep with my hair in braids every night, even if it's curly. Um, just need to brush my hair before I put it in a braid. Anyways, we're learning my hair at 26 years old. And I really wanted to start learning my hair because I started noticing Sutton has curly hair. And so I want to know how to handle curly hair before she gets older. And so that way I can help her manage her curly hair. Because like my parents... Well, my dad has curly hair, but he's a dude. My mom has like wavy hair, but never like really wears it wavy. She just always like blow dries it. So like I was never taught how to maintain my curly hair. So now I want to make sure I know how to do curly hair in case Sutton's hair is like my hair. That way we can make it cute and she's like confident and stuff in her curly hair. And that way I know how to do it. So that's why I was like inspired to start wearing my hair natural, honestly. So anyway, I'm going to end this vlog. This has been a nice little bathroom chat really enjoyed this a little um spend the night getting unready with me situation we just had going on I'm going through like my empties and stuff i feel like that was kind of fun but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog just a little weekend vlog just like a little update all the crazy things are still going on with the house and stuff so whenever i have an update i will let you guys know but the court date is next month um so we will be spending lots of time like getting ready for that and figuring all that out um but yeah just crazy you know this all could have been avoided if they would have just cleaned the pool like they said they were going to so now we're here anyways i'm gonna end the vlog i'm gonna start a new one since tomorrow's monday and i'm pick up my workout outfit really quick and i will see you guys in my next vlog